are currently at Rahel Ranch, Abu Dhabi. It's a 45 minute drive from Abu Dhabi city to here, which is near Al Wathba racetrack, the camel tracks. We are going to do a photo shoot today. We have a project, me and Angelique, for Instagram. It's amazing view. It's not like a typical holiday. It just feels so homey in here. The accommodation, as you can see, is not fancy, but it's got all what you need. So this is the place where we're at. That is our chalet and that's the surroundings. Good morning, everyone. Um, right, so I haven't really had time to vlog at all from yesterday since we came here. Um, we were just busy with the shoot and hanging out. Uh, so this is what mornings look like. I can hear chickens, I can hear birds. I miss the sunrise. Um, I snoozed a lot, so. There you go, sunrise gone. This is what's behind me. There's a cute camel there. And these are the chalets behind. So we've now visited a camel that's right across where the chalets are. He's so pretty, he's so cute. He's just chilling right there in the sand. And I think He's doing his morning meditation. To be honest, I think we're actually disturbing him. <laughs> Look at the position he's in. <laughs> I'm terrified of big animals and I've never been this close to one. Um, it's just because he's one camel here. Unlike when you go to desert safaris, there's like loads of them. So, this is what the other part of the ranch looks like. This is the residential area, I think, and where the chalets are, where the staff lives, where renters live. And later on, we will go to show you the other part of the ranch. Say bye to the camel. training uh, they train the horses from 5 30 in the morning at 9 o'clock so if you're gonna stay here the owner mr. Ali Al Amiri said that you have to be really early so that you can see them training and going around the the outside area where they're free to, free to show you their stunts when they jump up and all them look at this one oh so cute I love that they braid the horses
on chalet number nine and this is what it looks like sorry for the mess um, I was so excited when we reached here that I wasn't able to give you a proper tour so I'll take that chance to do that now and then later we'll talk about the place so as you come in I really like their doors look at that Matty are you okay I really like their doors it's too hot outside so we'll just we'll just stay indoors and as you come in there's a TV there um, right now the TVs are not working there's something that they need to fix about the satellite dish but Wi-Fi is the signal is strong they have a dining table here on the other two chalets that my friends are staying in there is a high table and stool but they have sitting outside some portable table and chairs which you can take advantage of especially at night it's not that hot but I would recommend that you come here when it's a bit colder so this is a king size bed and a good amount of space inside the cupboard say hello to my vlogging setup right there and the bathroom is a good size there's two shower heads for you to choose from there's a rain shower and a normal shower head um, they provide towels but I brought my own they provide a lot of tissue rolls and tissue boxes and okay let's not see that that's my underwear that's my travel kit right there so it's a good size bathroom decent very clean and then moving on to here we have a microwave a hot plate a couple of plates spoon and fork knife a mini fridge down here um, and this is the sink situation I like that it's it's open and rustic and but you can tell that they've been trying to really maintain the place the paint looks like it's new and the tiles are new so I think they have a they might have a plan about this whole design situation I love the carpet it's so soft um, so the furniture is a bit uh, traditional so I think it's because they're trying to still maintain that Emirati vibe while still being you know the feeling that there's that it's modern so anyway that's it and that's the AC right there if you're wondering they do have AC it's cold in here and I'd really like to stay in this room for as long as I can before I head out um, I'll show you the view so this is the view outside this is what I woke up to this morning you can close that when you sleep there's another blind over there and that's the controls so that's it this is where you can park your car that's sitting outside one of the more important things why we chose to stay in this place and not the hotels around is because first of all it's away from the city and the second most important thing is that they are pet friendly <laughs> yeah so it's a very pet friendly place and Matty's enjoyed chasing the chickens talking to the horses and the camels and walking around in the sand even leash free if you come here during this time you would know if you've lived in a villa that the water is going to be really hot like boiling hot <laughs> I went to the toilet yesterday and I was like okay use the bidet and I'm like oh is it still there <laughs> that was the reaction because the water is really hot and that's very normal in villas and especially we are in the middle of the desert so I would probably suggest to the ranch if they could you know adapt some of the Asian style in bathing or in taking a shower or a bath to put a bucket over there you know so that you can store some water at night and in the morning it's going to be room temperature or at least colder and bearable to the skin <laughs> I woke up to a nice chirping sound of the birds and chickens running around my dog Maddie was running after them and just really peaceful calm we were asked the night before what time we wanted breakfast and we were told what the menu was going to be so that was good and if you want something in particular you can order that in advance i'm sure breakfast is included in the 
daily rate. So we paid 200 dirhams for each chalet and that's it. Check-in was so easy. There are no shops around. The owner himself, Ali, I think he's met one of my friends outside and he was like, are you okay? He's like, I was looking for tea. And the owner himself brought him tea. Like, who does that? So, Mr. Ali Alamari, you are so kind. Thank you very much. And I highly recommend this place, not because of anything else, but because of the hospitality, the history of this place, the surrounding, the the people who work here are very nice. They're very accommodating and whatever you ask, they're just ready to give it to you. The place is fully equipped with kitchen stuff. Um, you can bring your own food and cook. I'm not sure if there's restrictions on what you can cook, but I think the fact that they put pots and pans, kettles, hot plate, microwave, a fridge, they're encouraging you to make your own. So if you want or otherwise, it can do that for you. So, and the place is clean. I would link their website, Instagram, and Facebook accounts on this video so you can contact them for your own staycation. And if you love horses, animals, goats, camels, this is the place where you should go. Thanks for watching and I hope that you have a great day. Stay safe.